Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Blue Monkey Bicycles, and in this video, we're going to review the KBO Ranger. This is the real deal. An affordable, electric, compact cargo bike with all the fixings. And we're going to pay special attention to how it does with the little ones, the most precious of cargo. All right, let's just jump in head first. The KBO Ranger is coming in at $1,699. That's a sweet price for this category. With only a few exceptions, you're getting all the cargo and urban capability in a really easy to use package. The Ranger is rocking full coverage fenders to keep everyone dry in the rain and in the puddles, a big benefit for regular reliable use. For a huge safety and practicality benefit, it has the front and rear lights and also a brake light function to get respect from cars, or at least try to get respect from cars. <laughs> Now the step through frame is easy for, to access for pretty much any rider and it's also built really strong with a big battery inside the down tube for low weight and stability. It's actually a really nice control and really nice ride. The Ranger also includes a rear rack for amazing load capacity and running boards for loading people or even additional cargo if you wanted. I really like the tire size on these because they keep the weight low and it's also pretty darn comfortable. This bike doesn't include any kind of suspension, but that big air volume in the tires actually makes up for a little bit of that. Now, these items are included with the Ranger, and adding some KBO accessories unlocks even more carrying power. I've got mine equipped with the kid fence, the front platform, and the basket, and honestly, I feel like I can't live without this stuff. The kid rails are incredible, and they keep the little ones safe and give them the added confidence to ride with mom and dad. They are strong and expansive, and they easily get two kids on the back platform, possibly three depending on how comfortable they are with each other. I will say that the added pad on the platform really is a must if you take kids on a longer ride. Using an aftermarket pad like this one, I've ridden with my little sweet pea for over an hour, and she has no complaints. On the front basket, there isn't too much to say other than I would highly recommend it if you wind up getting the kid rails. When the kids are occupying the rear rack, then you'll have to carry stuff in your backpack or something, and that would get in the face of the kids in the back. So the front basket solves that super easy, and with some aftermarket straps like this one, you'll never have to worry again. Now you can ride free and cool, and your kids can too. The Ranger is rocking a really large battery, 48 volt and 17.5 amp hours. And although it fits snugly into the frame, a key can get access for security and also ease of transport. Without cargo, I would personally estimate that this bike could go about 40 miles of range at full blast. And with a 750 watt continuous motor, this bike packs a serious electric punch, all the more needed for cargo of every single kind. Other surprise features are the brake lights, which I mentioned. They flash upon activation of the brake handles, which is really cool, but it also has a quick three amp charger to charge up that battery, the 48 volt headlight, and a rear seat that also includes a little grip for the kids to hold on to. There is a lot to love about the KBO Ranger. It's an affordable electric compact cargo bike with all the trimmings. However, this video is more than just a thinly veiled advertisement. I mean, come on, it's in my best financial interest to talk up the bike and encourage you to buy it with the affiliate links down in the description. But nevertheless, I am culturally obligated to share with you the downsides, otherwise I would lose credibility and could no longer pitch my viewership base to future companies and colleagues, so let me tell you what sucks about the KBO Ranger. This compact cargo bike is kind of compact. I'm a taller rider at six feet tall and it feels cramped for me. I find that with my weight guided forward, it actually puts it all onto the handlebars and with that, I actually notice that the grips are kind of basic. If I was a shorter person, I probably wouldn't have noticed. The mechanical gearing on the Ranger is actually quite limited, and this can be a big deal. Just a freewheel set in the back with 14 to 28 teeth on seven speeds. With such a narrow range of gears, you'll be using the electric system to compensate in higher speeds and also higher torque application. Fortunately, the 750 watt motor can handle it, but I mean, yeah, I mean, be aware that those pedals are not all that helpful when you're in high demand applications. For this price point, you are getting a lot of bike, but by golly, I am a sucker for hydraulic disc brakes. Similar to the gears, these brakes really aren't the best when you're rocketing at high speeds or carrying heavy loads. I mean, you can compensate by simply watching where you're going and look further down the road. That way you're not stuck going too fast with a huge load. So there's a good chance that if you're taking the kids to school or just around town, these downsides might never occur to you. But there's one more thing that I noticed. 
It's actually the quality control. It really pains me to say this, but I was not impressed by the quality control of the production run of this Ranger. I've reviewed KBO bikes in the past, the Breeze and the Hurricane, and those bikes were great. I know that KBO can make a really good bike, but the Ranger really is a new model, and sometimes factories need a little bit of fine tuning before they can pump them out with high standards. My KBO Ranger came with some misassembled or faulty parts that I had to fix myself. When I went on the first triumphant ride, I noticed that the bike didn't seem quite right. So fortunately for me, I'm perfectly capable of diagnosing and fixing it. But if you are interested in the KBO Ranger, I would definitely have someone skilled give it a good once over before you jump in for regular use. This is good bike advice anyway, but I do make special note of it because the Ranger didn't live up to the quality that I saw from previous KBO vehicles in the past. Now, hopefully KBO already has addressed these problems and by the time you're watching it, it's all a moot point from here. But there you have it. That's my review of the KBO Ranger, a really nice electric compact cargo bike with incredible features at a stellar price. If you're interested in the Ranger, I would do two things. Number one, call a local bike shop and ask how much they would charge to either do the assembly or check your assembly. And number two, use those affiliate links in the description below. <laughs> I'm Mikey for Blue Monkey, and I will see you on later.